Two wide to the right, one to the short side, to the left side. Short drop, Wilkinson pulls it down, wants to run, and he's sacked. Wrapped up, he couldn't find anything open on the right side, and the Cougars have got their first sack of the year. And coming through there, who else but Anthony Moore, who had uh, led the Cougars a year ago with seven sacks. That's a good start for the Cougar D. No interceptions. He was uh, sacked one time. He's been sacked today, and here's the screen coming near side. They've got a catch at the 15. A lot of running room for Wilkins all the way up down the near sidelines across the 35. Moore at the other uh, defensive end, if you will. He's got a sack already today. First down, deep handoff. Here's Wilkin. No, it's a play action fake and a throw for a catch near side. That one was well disguised. Barney O'Donnell, you'll hear his name a lot today. 96 catches a year ago for 686 receiving yards. He led the team with seven touchdown catches and a week ago already had two of them already. And it's offset eye, offset to the right side. Play action again, rolling right Wilkinson. And taking a look, throws on the move and he's got a catch at the Cougar 40 yard line. Little right end uh, to the left side. And here we go. Here's the deep handoff, and it's to Wilkins. Wilkins got a block at the 35 to the 30 to the 25, and still on his feet. Now it's first and 10. No huddle again as Williamson backs away. Now looks to hand it off. And uh, that time they've go. got Anton Wilkins trapped for a loss. Maybe that's why they're throwing the ball that time. Derek Vandenbosch came in and made the stop. Well, that was a good play by Vandenbosch from the right side linebacker position. Joe, we're blitzing from the edges today, and so Vandenbosch might have blitzed right into that run. To the strong side is to the right, and screen ball's coming up this time. Wilkins again, 25, 20, 15, 10, tripped up, still on his feet, steps out of a tackle, he's inside the five, down to the three, maybe the team's opening drive, trying to draw first blood. Wilkins works outside and just runs into the end zone, untouched virtually. Firewalder trying to make a play. And short drop, looks, time of the pocket, steps up, he can run, he can throw, and he's got a wide open fly at the 40, and cuts back in the middle of the field, brought down at the 36. There was nobody between Kobe Fry and uh, a blue uniform of the Bees by about 20 yards. Joe, an outside linebacker, Calber, had Fry man-to-man. -man. Byerwalder under center's got motion, Coleman, and Kobe Fry's got the first down into the secondary, down to the 20-yard line. Firewall to try to make a play now and drops the throw, looks and throws the ball. He's got a man and a catch, and let's Ooh. see, the, the, the helmet is gone, but I believe the catch is made. Kobe Fry, I think, Joe. And inside the five at about the two. As here we go, there's motion as uh, it will Straight be up. a run up the middle, and it's going to be a touchdown. Joe, that was, it, it fooled us, I think. You know what? Firewalter has the option to see if the center's not covered. If the center's not covered by a defender, he just hits his center a little hard, presses his rear end. That means snap the ball, and Byerwalter dives straight ahead, four yards straight ahead for Byerwalter. He read the defense. Very good job for the touchdown. Offset eye formation for the Bees. 7-7 seven, seven tie. Here's a pass, and they've got a catch, and the ball is knocked away. Let's see if it's a fumble and a scramble for it at the 29-yard line. St. Yep. Francis thinks they've got the ball. We'll wait for the official ruling. They marked it. They, they gave it the signal. It's our football. Byerwalder back on the field with Wolf lined up behind him. And low snap, Byerwalder picks that up. Wolf picked up the blitz and the throw over the middle. Fry has got it and brought down immediately inside the 15 at the 12-yard line. But again, the middle was open and Fry was as well. Byerwalder barking out the signals, waiting for the snap. A little motion, Coleman. And here is Byerwalder looking, looking. Flush back to the right, trying to run, trying to throw. Throws the ball. He's got a wide open receiver. Touchdown. Coleman. Coleman, Austin Coleman. Boy, he had to wait for that ball so longingly. And finally, it drifted in there. He had seven receiving touchdowns a year ago. This one is good at the 204 mark. Davenport, Iowa. Cougars lead at 14 7, but on the move, proving field position of the Bees. They'll run Wilkins again, and he finds a seam in the secondary and breaking tackles all the way down inside the Cougar 40 to the 39. And the Cougars are, are reaching. Moving from left to right as we look at it, they've got a first down. And they're going to flip flop the type in. We've not seen Mitch Overstreet so far today. It's been Friedrich. 
And they'll run off tackle once again. Big hole in the middle of the field. And it's Anton Wilkins back in there as he cracks inside the USF 30-yard line all the way down close to the 26F at the 28-yard line is where they spot it. They'll run the ball again. This time the Cougars get serious about it and stop it after a short gain. And getting up off the bottom of the pile, it's going to be Bro Brody Kalbaugh. Now they flip-flop the fullback offset to the left side. On second down and nine, Wilkins wants to throw into the end zone. He's got a man down there and he's got a catch. And that's bad defense that time is Allen Richardson. Second down and ten. They still show force down, first down across the way. Option run to the right. Firewall sets, fires, and that one is picked at the 41. Tended for Knight. It's picked off, and it'll mean St. Ambrose with the first Cougar turnover of the ball game. And now St. Ambrose has got a chance to get the lead back. And here is a play action fake, looking right, then they throw, and that's an easy touchdown. Trap toss once again, and uh, they just uh, threw it to Zach McAllister. Five yards touchdown, and it's going to be advantage Bs here at home at 20 to 14. Wolf corralling the ball at the five, left side, works to the 10, 15, trying to run wide to the right, needs a block, turning the corner, and he does at the 25 to the 30, 35, and out of bounds across the 40-yard line. Frank Wolf, he ran about 60 yards. Firewater has a first down, very good field position, just short of uh, the 40-yard line, and they'll run the ball, and here is Wolf into the secondary, still in his feet at midfield to the 40, 35, 30, and finally bumped out of bounds inside the B's 30-yard line. So here comes USF and with Joe, a big running play. Yeah, that was a great run. That's the short side of the field, first and 10 from the 29. Byerwaller's got motion from left to right, pitch of the ball right side. Here's a cut at the 30-yard line and a carry down to the 7. That was Armando Bustamani. I think that's his first ever carry for USF, second down and 6. USF in motion again. They've got uh, motion from left to right behind the line of scrimmage. Short drop. Byerwalder checks off. Now looking, scrambling, throws, and completes. Burge has got it. Stays in bounds. Looks for the first down at the 20-yard line, and I think he's got it. Wow, that was a nice second effort by Burge. Burge caught the ball. It was it was second down and six. He caught the ball maybe four yards beyond the line of scrimmage. That's the wide side as Byerwalder. Long count from the line of scrimmage. Hands the ball off. No, he kept it himself. Dropped it, and it is recovered. Oh Again by Ryan Deals having a huge ball game. Fumble by Byerwalder and the Bees stop the Cougar drive. They'll take over with 9.37 remaining in the first half, leading at 21-14. Well, and you know what that was, Joe? That was like an option play where Byerwalder has the choice to put it in the belly of the running back or keep it. Bees with the ball, but they've got second and 15, and Williamson wants to throw, and they've got him wrapped up for a sack. Well, that's the momentum builder, Joe. There's nothing that hurts an offense more than a sack. Marcus, Marcus Neal. Yeah, Marcus Neal is one of the defensive, uh, one of the nose tackles. We've got a few of them, and we're deep at that position. Bozier out of the pistol lineman. Wolf lined up behind him. Blitz coming up the middle, picked up, and Bozier checks off. Now throws in the middle. He's got a nice catch. That's Aaron Knight inside the 20 as he had to leave his feet awkwardly. The sophomore six 6'1", kind of reaching high and behind himself a little bit, but made the play. Joe, the pass was not a great pass. Knight did a great job of catching it. bozier has got a new running back in there, lined up behind him, ready to take the snap out of the pistol alignment. And looks to throw. Short drop, dances, throws. He's got a man, and that's picked off. At the 5, return of the 10. And the Bees, with their second pick of the ball game, are in business again out to their 15-yard line on that interception by John Micheletti. On second down and 9, Williamson with the snap. Wants to throw. And a lot of time again. Throws long and deep. He's got a man out there, and it'll be a catch, and it'll be inside the 10, and a touchdown for O'Donnell. Beat Corey Stamps. We oh, just talked about that matchup. They're going to penalize him, Joe, for uh, for celebration in the end zone, but it doesn't matter because he just got a 64-yard a, a touchdown pass. Justin Bozier got away with one. Now Moore in uh, motion. B.J. Moore left to right. Here's Bozier. The rush is on. Got away from it. Steps up. Throws and completes. Inside the 25, that's Bustamani and works his way down inside the 20 to the 22-yard line. Kobe Fry up on the wing to the left, under center, the give is to Wolf. Wolf cartwheels his way down close to the 10-yard line. Second down and four after a gain of six by Wolf. Bozier under center. 
And looking for Campbell, deep handoff. He works left to the 10, to the 5, cuts it up, and he will score. Nice run that time. Antoine Campbell, his first rushing touchdown for St. Francis, takes it in at the 350 mark. And the Cougars, pending the conversion, will be down a half a dozen. Joe, that was great blocking at the point of attack. The left tackle there made a great block on their uh, right defensive end. I think it was Edwards. Little motion from right to left as well. And here is a, a running and boy, I tell you what, that time they got him. Williamson sacked. <laughs> Anthony Moore was there. Yeah, you've done it twice. You just I'm need to keep mentioning buddy. that. I know. You know what, that was an actual jailbreak, Joe. Vander ba Vanden Bosch, uh, I think Cowball and Moore. Now we're just inside two minutes. Uh, snap was a little high. Here's an end over end kick. Aaron Knight waits for it, got it, gets by a one. And then uh, works to the 40, 35, and caught from Ooh. behind. He had a chance to take it to the house. Knight slams the ball down. He thought like we did. Frank Wolf looks like he's back in there, lined up behind Bozier. Uh, he's gone all the way in the second half at quarterback. Motion by Fry, resets left wing. Bozier looks off, checks off in the middle. Here's Wolf, dances away to the 20, to the 15. And a tripped up, got another yard down to about the 14-yard line. Joe, Coach Donnelly told me that we have about 70 plays available for today's game. 80 seconds time remaining. Wolf again angling right, cuts it up to the 10. He's down to the 5, and he'll have his chance. Touchdown! Frank Wolf blasted in from 15 yards, picking him up, laying him down, and the Cougars are back into a 27-27 tie after trailing by 13. You know, he is so light on his feet. And sometimes he looks like he's a dancer. He looks like a ballerina. I mean, he's just weaving and, and uh, turning. Too wide uh, to the right. Again, they're going to run. McAllister is the one back. But uh, here's a Williamson wanting the throw. Throws left side. He's got O'Donnell downfield again, and he's got a touchdown. Well, he Tory stance. It was a hitch play. He, it was a stop and go deal. And looks to throw the fade. Left side, O'Donnell's there and has it again. He's out of the end zone. No, he did not. He bobbled the ball, had it in his hands, but they really did not control it all the way through to 8.44 remaining on this clock in regulation here in the fourth quarter. 33-28 St. Ambrose. Bozier again, taking plenty of time. He's got motion from Fry, gives to Wolf. He's got a hole into the secondary, and he spins across the 45, up to the 48, and all the way close to the 49-yard line. Big, big hole for Frank Wolf. 13-yard gain, and you know what happened there, Joe? They blitzed their middle linebacker. Betcher in as a wide out to the right. Blitz coming, being threatened from the defensive right side. Bozier under center this time. The blitz coming up the middle. They give the white, and he avoids it. Cuts to the outside. He's at the 30. They're looking to gain ground to the 25. Did they get a face mask? Apparently not. They keep the clock running exactly seven minutes time running. Another first down for St. Francis. Joe, I don't know if Bozier's entitled to change the play at the line of scrimmage there, but every time now, they're blitzing their middle line back. First and goal from the three-yard line now after the walk-off. Bozier barking out the signals. Looking, and he'll hand the ball off. And here's Campbell, and he'll take it into the end zone for the three-yard touchdown run. So the Cougars regain the lead now. Can they hold it? They lead 34-33, three-yard touchdown run at the 345 mark. They can put McAllister up on the wing. Now they throw to those guys. Got to watch it. Here's Williamson. Rush is coming. The throw. Tip ball at the line. Ooh. And it's incomplete. Great play defensively by Solomon Grimes. Got a hand up. Grimes was in there blitzing as just I just said before we were only rushing three guys that time we rushed four so now it's fourth down ball game they, they've got to go for it right Joe we'll see Williamson and he looks he wants to throw rolls to the right being pursued he's got a man an easy pitch and catch Oatman on the reception up around midfield remember a field goal would win it in a one point to lead for St. Francis here's a cut to the right Oh, it. And it's going to be St. Francis has got Get the down. ball Get. inside the 40 and down to the 36-yard line as coming up with that loose football is going to be Devin Rush. Yeah, Devin, get the football and go down. He started running with it, holding it like it was a loaf of bread, but somebody made a big pop on their running back, uh, McAllister. McAllister. Yep, McAllister, and the ball popped in the air, and the Cougars picked it up. Right. And a quick hitting play, they give it to Wolf. Wolf angles to his left, trying Stay to turn the bounce. corner and does now picks fall up down. the first fall down. down. And sorry. And the Cougars do convert. They'll keep possession with a minute 47. Thanks, Joe. I got uh, Antoine Campbell and Frank Wolf.
Frank, let me talk to you first. Frank, you, you got banged up a little bit today. How are you feeling after the game? <laughs> nah, I wasn't banged up. It was just cramps, man. You know I'm going to fight through that anyway. But, I mean, I had to get some water in me, and, you know, I seen that the team need him. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'm a big part of the offense, and I just didn't want to let nobody down. So I fought through it. I was cramping up, and I just got up and, you know, just kept going. Tell me about that fourth down play. It's fourth down and five. Really, the difference between us having to give them the football back or us being able to run out the play, it, you had a little delay when you got the ball. I said, come on, Frank, go cross the line of scrimmage at least. Tell me about how that play set up and what happened. Uh, it was a stretch play, and I felt the DN, the DN reached. So that mean I had to, I felt like he was going to get me, so I kind of like delayed a little bit. You know, I'm setting him up on the stutter step, and I hit the corner at 100 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? In the little corner, it's too little. I was hollering. So, I, you know, I said I just lowered my shoulder and felt like the team really deserved that. So I was wanted to fight for them. I was hollering. My, my broadcast partner basically had to tell me to shut up. I was hollering, so I was so happy you got that first down. Let me bring on Antoine Campbell. Antoine, you haven't had a lot of playing time in the past, but today you kind of created a little one-two punch with Frank. Tell me about how you felt to get out there and get some playing time. Well, it felt great. Having a year off of football kind of sucks, so I just came out there and made the most of most of my opportunities and try to help out this team get a win. Talk about your offensive line real quickly, how you felt like they did. And, and, and at the beginning of the game, we ran the ball very effectively. Actually, Frank did. Then we kind of had a little bit of a lull, but you came in and gave us a little spark. Talk about that. Well, I just had to, like I said, just make the most of my opportunities, and the offensive line started playing real hard. So if they play hard, I got to play hard back and get the win. Frank, you okay sharing time with this buddy? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. I like him. You know what I'm saying? We hang out all the time. It's just like, it's really like my best friend out here now. Good. You know, I feel like I feel comfortable when he's in there. I don't feel like we miss a beat when he's in there, so that's a good thing. Well, you guys did a fantastic job today. I think it was the key to the offense. Good job. Congratulations. Okay.